What's up guys? If you know fly rides, you know how into bike packing we are. So I wanted to do a video for you guys about the best bike packing gear that I saw at Eurobike 2019. Let's break into it. Ortlieb is always an industry leader in bike touring and bike packing. I'm featuring right here the handlebar pack and the seat post pack. Two of my favorite pieces of gear because they completely stay out of the way of a battery. Uh, they're great for e-bikes for that sense and I really, really dig using them when I've used them before. If you're a disorganized bike packer like me, you'll love these new packing cubes that will fit into your Ortlieb bag. And then again, for e-bike specifics, they have the e-mate, which is going to have a separate compartment for your battery. So if you're going to carry a spare battery, if you're doing some e-bike touring, it's a great way to just separate that out. You can easily get to it without having to sort through the rest of your gear. Uh, but there's also 16 liters of space other than that. They also have the e-glow, which is a handlebar bag that plugs into your USB port into your display to light up. And two water bottles on the side, which solves the frequent problem of where to put your water bottles. Okay guys, Ross Wheel, oh man, these are just so good looking uh, is the main reason I'm so excited about these, but they're also very functional. Of course, 100% waterproof, all the good stuff you would want out of a bikepacking setup, but their sleek design really sets them apart. I also love for this seat post bag uh, that you already have a rack and these straps installed. So basically it keeps the seat post bag from sagging. And these gear straps, I use the, the Voy uh, ski straps usually, but these make it so you don't need that. It's like a full setup already. They have bike touring gear. Usually my setups are from a bunch of different companies. I've got Salsa, I've got Ortlieb, I've got you know a ton of different companies, but Rosswheel has basically taken all the gear and made it from them, from Rosswheel. And it's sexy. Extra Wheel was a company that I was very excited about. We get a ton of questions about bike trailers um, to carry extra gear and stuff like that, and there's just not a ton of great options. Uh, these guys drew my attention because they had a High Bike Fat 6 set up with their system. Basically, these are quick-release trailers. They're held on by tension and friction, and uh, it just attaches to any bike. They make a ton of different through-axle sizes. They also do it with quick releases as well, and you can attach an extra wheel to the back of it, and they have their own pannier setup as well, and it's you can carry so much gear. It's incredible. Um, totally waterproof bags, of course. They also are pretty dust-resistant, uh, according to the company. Uh, I've not tested that out myself, of course. The panniers actually lock on to the racks, uh, which is really nice, and they have just loads of different sizes, uh, not only of the trailers, but of bags. It's anywhere from about 20 liters um, to 50 liters, I believe, for most of the bags. In addition to the panniers that fit uh, their racks specifically, they also make more general panniers, also, um, you know, kind of cylindrical bags that will hold sleeping bags, tents, stuff that's set up, you know, for camping. Um, but so they're, you know, they're very camping fo focused, very bike packing focused. It's really, really neat stuff. And just the way it attaches to the bike is unbelievable and makes it so that it's way more versatile and you can set it up on a ton of bikes, um, which is why I love it for the e-bikes, of course, because it's always a problem finding gear that will fit e-bikes because uh, they're, you know, they're just, they're specialty bikes. Um, and here you're seeing it's pretty easy to ride. Uh, Peter was uh, a cycle tourist for about two to three years and uh, he's been using these for a while. I was blown away by Extra Wheel and uh, I'm very excited about uh, seeing their future. Nikolai Bikes has come out with an incredible enduro bike packing bike. It's called the E-Box G1. There's a bunch of different trim options on it, uh, but it is specced out to the nines, and you can use it for bike packing. So it has a rear rack, integrated lights, uh, the roll-off speed hub, and also a Gates carbon belt drive, which I think is going to become more and more of a player in the bike packing sphere as it grows, especially for e-biking. Um, it's a low maintenance, almost no maintenance, so you're not gonna have to worry about it on tour setup. Uh, really, really nice bike though. I'm very excited about these guys. Wrapping things up, of course, we're going to feature the recent Mueller Super Delight unbelievable bike thousand watt hours of battery it is uh it's set up for bike packing already especially the gx model um it's got a dropper seat post front and rear racks those water bottles attached to it just really really solid love this bike and uh it's gonna be a bike packer's dream really 
really though with Reese and Mueller, a lot of their bikes are going to be good for bike packing now. So you have the Supercharger 2, the Multi Charger is going to be better for bike packing. I think even there's going to be some people who try bike packing with the load because they now have a GX set up as well. And of course, you can carry a ton of gear with it. So really exciting stuff from bike packing this year. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, you guys, if you want to see more bike packing content and also electric bike content. All right, we will see you guys later.